Hello, as Christian Gondwell was saying earlier on, we had a very large number of files and applications, very high quality applications. Seeing this, we just decided it would be extremely uh, worthwhile to give two rewards. And Geraldine has just told us how important this is for students, for uh, doctoral students, uh, to receive this type of uh, award, both, of course, financially, uh, 10,000 euros is no small thing. And so each one will receive 10,000 euros. For the sixth year in a row, we have now been uh, handing out these awards. And uh, the success is still there. This year uh, we have 11 countries involved, not only in Europe, we also had some applicants from Canada, Australia, and even China. We have a Chinese a laureate, uh, she studies in France, she's studying in France. So, we will start uh, with the first prize. This is not a ranking, this is uh, uh, just in numbers. The person who received this prize is working in uh, Professor Arnaud Beneveau's and Karine Clément's team here in Paris, Miss uh, Lichon Kong, if you could kindly come forward. Her project is called Microbial Intestinal Microbials in Obesity and Nutritional Transition effects of a uh, caloric restriction. It is part of a project financed by the ANR, Franco-Chinese uh, project, uh, Microobese, it is called Microobese, that, that talks about uh, uh, impact on intestinal flora, examines the metabolic aspects, inflammatory aspects that are connected. As you have seen earlier on with the Jolin, Ling Chung Kong will come uh, two years from now to tell us about the, give us the results of her research. So, Miss uh, Ling Chung Kong. But uh, uh, we're in Lille right now, and we have plenty of sun, so I don't know whether I should say that. But anyway, this uh, uh, winner comes from the University of Aix Marseille, and uh, studying with Mrs. Nicole Darmon. His name is Florent Vieux. The subject of uh, his uh, project. of the proposal for a, the contribution of fruit and vegetables. Uh, it's basically um, not only uh, the uh, study with respect to existing recommendations, but also with respect to economic factors, uh, costs. What did uh, uh, peach cost in 1950, and what did it bring in terms of vitamins compared to 26 peaches today? and the cost of these 26 peaches. So, uh, uh, in other words, the nutritional cost, uh, among other things, of fruits and vegetables. So, Mr. Florent Pieux uh, is also recipient of the 10,000 euros. So, see you in two years if you would like to find out more about the results of this research. That's right. So see you two years from now for this presentation. And of course, I would like to thank the Foundation. Not only is this going to give me some uh, financial support, since uh, this uh, sum is no small one, especially for a young student, and uh, also thank you especially for the recognition this gives in the scientific world and uh, for your support uh, 
uh, to this project. I would like to thank uh, those uh, people whom I see on a daily basis uh, with a special uh, recognition to Marie-Joseph Agno Carlin and also Nicole Darmon, who is the uh, director of my thesis, without whom I would not be here today. Thank you very much. Yes, I would like to thank the Foundation Louis Bonduel and all of the members of this foundation. I would like to uh, thank my two thesis directors, Professor Arnaud Badevant and Professor Karine uh, Clément, and also Dr. Saint-Louis Ries Gala, and all of the colleagues in the laboratories, as well as uh, my colleagues in the whole world. I'm extremely happy to have uh, been awarded this prize today after three applications. Yes, I'm, you did persevere, that's right, yes, it's important. I will absolutely come to the next meeting to present to you my results. So, as you can see, the message uh, that has uh, just been uh, given, uh, well, clearly shows that it is important to persevere. Second important message I hear is that there is a, a strong, uh, th there is a contribution here that is not only economic, there is also scientific credibility involved. So, for all of those who are here, who have already participated, or who are thinking of participating, we encourage you to do this. This will mean even more interesting uh, files. We will continue to improve and continue to work for nutrition. Thank you. Uh, thank you once again, the two winners for this year. So, the photograph, of course, to make this an eternal moment. This is not something that happens every day. And we will, of course, be extremely attentive to the next steps. Yes, I was being asked here 10,000 euros each. This question regarding the amount written for the check. So it's not 10,000 euros to be shared between the two, it is 10,000 euros each to enable them to uh, carry out both of their projects, which are quite different. We have now come to the end of our very rich morning on food and nutrition. We were very happy to see so many of you here. Each year you come in greater numbers and of course you are all welcome to the cocktail. A cocktail, which is a practical application actually of all of this excellent advice. I presume that there will be a great many vegetables. And this is also an opportunity if you have any questions, uh, since time, of course, is always a uh, essence. But our speakers will be present during the cocktail. So, see you next year for the fifth encounters of the Louis Bonduel Foundation. Thank you very much for your attention.